In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a Rubik's Cube like this, in Blender. This is not very difficult, but still, it can be fun. And you can also rotate any layer, like this, in any direction, as we do with a Rubik's Cube in real. So let us start with a blank new file. We will convert it, step by step into a Rubik's Cube. So, select this default cube, and go to the Modifiers tab. Then add one, Bevel Modifier. Change the bevel amount to 0.05, and change the number of segments to 10. This will add some roundness to the edges of this cube. Now apply this modifier. Then add one, Array Modifier. Change this count value to 3, and we have to use a value of 1, in this Factor X field. Then, apply this modifier. We'll get a set of 3 cubes like this. Now add another Array Modifier. Change this count value to 3, remove this factor X value, and use 1, in the factor Y field. So we get a set of 9 cubes like this. Now, apply this modifier. Then again add another array modifier. Change this count to 3. And instead of the factor X, we have to now use the factor Z field. So, we get a set of 27 cubes together like this. Let us also apply this modifier. Now for this entire object, Go to the Object menu, and under Set Origin, select Origin to Geometry. So we will get the origin of this entire set moved to its geometrical center. Then in the Object Properties, we have to remove its location transformations. As a result, we'll get our cubes placed, perfectly at the world origin. Next, we have to set up some materials for this cube. So turn on the Rendered View mode. And we can also enable the HDRI lighting, for a better lighting effect. Now go to the Materials tab. You will see one default material, added by Blender. Let us rename this material, to say gray. And we have to change this base color to some dark color, we can change this value to 0.2. So we get some gray color for its material, but we have to also add few more colors, like red, yellow, green and others. So we have to make more entries into this materials list. Let's click on this plus button to create another entry here. Then create a new material. Let us rename this, to red. We have to then change this base color, to the red color. We can directly set this hue value, to 1.0, for a perfect red. Likewise, we have to add all the other colors one by one. So we got total 6 different colored materials added into this materials list, in addition to the default gray material. Let us now go to the edit mode. We'll first apply the gray material for this entire object, for its inside sections, and then the individual colors can be applied for some specific parts of the cubes. So turn on the face selection mode. Press A to select all the faces. Then select this gray color from this list, and click on the assign button. Next we have to select these 9 faces. Please do not use the box selection, because we want to leave the bevels, or the creases as it is. Then select the red color, and click on assign. We have to then repeat this same thing for all other sides of the cube. So, we are ready with all the materials applied to individual sides of the cube. We are done with the materials, we have to now separate out each individual cube from the whole set. So press A again to select all the faces, then go to the mesh menu, and under the separate sub-menu, select the option called, separate by loose parts. We will get 26 new cubes created from the base cube, so total there are 27 cubes cut out from this set. Now, go back to the object mode. While all these cubes are still selected together, go to the object menu, and under Set Origin, select Origin to 3D Cursor. So the origin for all the cubes will now be set at the world origin. This will help us when we rotate any set of cubes around the center. We can now hide the 3D cursor for a clean view, and also the floor as well, for this viewport. The Rubik's Cube is now ready, you can transform or rotate the cubes, based on your model, or your requirement. You can either render a still frame, or you can also animate them for a video output. You have to create a set like this, for all the cubes on one side. You can then rotate them by some angle. Or you can also assign an empty as their parent, and control its rotation via animation. Let us take an example, 
We'll rotate the set of the cubes on this side of our Rubik's Cube. First, go to the Add menu, and from the Empty group, add any one empty object. The empty is added in this list at the end, right here. Now, select the set of the cubes, 9 cubes, that we want to rotate. We have to then select the empty, so press the Control key, and select it from here. Then in the viewport, press Ctrl P, and select, Object Keep Transform. As a result, the empty will now become the parent of these cubes, that we have selected here. Then, if we rotate this empty object, all these cubes will rotate along with it, in any direction. So go to the Object Properties, and change this X rotation angle. You can see how the cubes are rotating together. You can animate this by entering suitable keyframes, that we did in our demo video last week. Let us rotate it by full 90 degrees. We'll then say, rotate the cubes on this top face. We have to first clear the parent for this earlier set of cubes. So select these cubes that are under the empty. Then in the viewport, press Alt P and select the option, clear and keep transformation. So the parent will be removed and the cubes will retain their current position. We have to then select these top cubes. You can select them one by one just to be on the safer side or you can also use a box select like this. We have to then select the empty object, so press the control key and select the empty from here. Then in the viewport, press control P like before, and select object keep transform. As a result, all these cubes will now come under the empty, as we have parented the empty for these 9 cubes. We can then rotate these cubes easily, by rotating the empty object, around the z-axis. So this way, you can easily create Rubik's Cube in Blender and rotate the sides. You can also animate this action by inserting keyframes for this rotation if you wish. It can be fun. That's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.